and today, yeah, going to be some significant closures on I-435 uh, big time. These are going to be big problem. People are already complaining about them ahead of time. Uh, uh, so you're going to expect some big slowdown starting tonight. We actually have 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniels. She's live with more on what's ahead. Ray. Well, with these closures, Lindsay, you know, this is only going to last until Sunday morning. But like we've been talking about all morning, there's a lot of events that are going to be happening. So there's going to be a lot of lane closures as well as ramps. We're actually right in front of one ramp closure near 103rd and Warnell. But go ahead and take a look at this map so you all can see um, what exactly these lane closures are going to be looking like. The MoDOT crews are going to close lanes of I-435 westbound starting at 6 p.m. until one lane is open. And and that's true for all lanes. It's going to start at 6 p.m. They'll also reduce I-435 eastbound to two lanes and westbound 470 will be down to one lane coming into the interchange. Now, there's also going to be several ramp closures along this same route. So if this is an area that you travel often, expect major delays. This actual work that we're doing um, is actually a byproduct of us being out there doing the larger 435 South Loop Link project. Uh, it's the improvement of the eight bridges along the corridor, uh, improving the capacity and, and safety as far as for traveling public from state line to the uh, three trails crossing interchange. Now, MoDOT engineers say that this is a critical part in order to move on to the next phase of this project. Again, all these closures will happen at 6 o'clock this evening, and it'll go on until early Sunday morning. Live in Kansas City, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News Today.